A viewing is scheduled for today for the Baltimore City Police detective killed on the job. Detective Sean Suter died after being shot in the head while investigating a murder in the Harlem Park neighborhood in West Baltimore earlier this month. WJZ is live in Randallstown. Mike Shue has more on the arrangements and the massive manhunt for the gunman. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. There still is a lot that is not known about this case. And amidst this uncertainty, his family will be receiving well wishers today in Randallstown. This memorial sits between two row homes near Bennett Place. In Harlem Park, hearts are heavy. Police are trying to enhance Suter's last radio transmission. This was heard about 20 seconds before the first dispatch call came for assistance. No. It's unintelligible right now. We don't know exactly what he said, but he was clearly in distress. Police commissioner confirms that Souter was killed at close range with his own service weapon and that there were signs of a struggle. The detective was just one day from testifying before a grand jury in a case involving officers from an elite gun unit accused of stealing from citizens. Well, I understand the, the, the wild possibilities that, that go through people's minds when we all want answers. I just am, am determined to keep following the evidence. There's nothing that we won't consider. Let me share with you the viewing schedule for the detective. It will be held here in Randallstown at the Vaughn Green Funeral Home. It will be from 3 o'clock until 8 p.m., both today and tomorrow. Then his funeral will take place Wednesday morning at 11 at Mount Pleasant Church. I'm Mike Shue reporting live in Randallstown. Back to you, Lynn. Mike, thank you. Detective Suter was an 18-year veteran of the city police force. He leaves behind a wife and five children.